Hello, Virgo. So your reading today is the Fallen Angel deck by Nigel Suckling. This particular deck is out of print and it's very expensive to purchase at this point in time. But a lot of times people want to know the name of the deck, so now you know. You have got the Discretion card. And the feeling that I get from this is that you're really watching someone. It is secretive, but it's not so much that you're trying to hide from someone as it is that you're trying to um, watch people. There's almost a voyeuristic tendency to it, and I don't mean that in a dirty way, though it could be. <laughs> But I'm afraid that some of the things that you are seeing, Virgo, is not really the truth. You're seeing it with your own eyes, but I don't feel as if you are getting the full story. You got the Harmony card after that, but I'm going to be honest with you. The feeling that I'm getting overall is that there's a major disconnect with somebody. I don't understand where it's coming from. It feels like someone either very close or fairly close to you that you're just not connecting with. You're not fully understanding and engaging with on a level that is deep enough to be... Um, palatable. It, it feels as if there is collaboration, but it's not clicking. It's just not clicking for whatever reason. You may be wanting this to, but it just doesn't happen. It I feel like it's just, I, I can't even come up with better words than it's a disconnect. It's a disconnect right in front of your face. And this might be somebody that you rely on, but I don't feel like you guys understand each other in the depths that you need to to move forward. So some of you are trying to um, the word is renewal in the card, but it's almost like you're trying to put yourself back together and take a breath and just like bring it back in to center and be more in tune with what's going on around you. But you've got danger, which to me tells me not physical, like major da uh, danger, but it's, it's a danger that this particular relationship, whether it's love or it's just work or a collaboration of some sort, it's just not the right match. Um, I feel like... It's more of a danger to hold on to it than to let it go. I feel like this person, while they can still kind of work with you, deal with you, that kind of thing, this does not need to be your main person. This does not need to be the, um, the wingman. I don't need know another word to use, but... <clears throat> This person needs to go a little bit more to the background because that's how they feel. They feel like they're in the background. They're supposed to be in the forefront, but I feel as if they're not really on the same page as you. So this could have issues with your partnership, okay? Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like, I just feel like it doesn't click. Okay, for some of you, 
this is a situation where maybe at one time you guys were on the same page. You had the same end result in mind. Something like that. <clears throat> but now I feel as if there is a shift, a change. And it's just not balancing out. That's why we've got the justice card. Some of you could be dealing with a legal situation or a Libra as well. But it's just not balancing out. It's, it's not the right mixture, if that makes any sense whatsoever. That's what's happening. And you can't force things to work just because you have a history or just because you've been in a team before in some aspect. Sometimes you have to move on. As we develop and grow as people, it takes stronger people to stand by our sides in the future. And maybe this person's just not strong enough um, or pointed enough to be on this journey with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that feeling. I feel as if it's almost like, and I know this card is on fire, but it's almost like you're on fire for something. You want something. You are determined. You have a goal. You know what you want, but I don't feel like this person does. I feel like this is going to end. Um, if it doesn't end officially, I feel like you guys are going to kind of fade away from each other. And I don't want you to be upset about that because you can still love and care for people and keep them in your lives to a certain degree. But just understand that this is not your perfect match. This is not the one that lights your match. This is more of a comfort I don't know if the word comfort is right, but this isn't your person, okay? So if this resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.